Linus, 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 Batman! Oh, I actually screwed it up that time. We were having this conversation before the show started, and like Ed was like, "Oh, well, uh, can you can you say your name that many times that fast?" And I'm like, "Oh yeah, no, I should be able to handle it." And then you know, Jack was like, "Yeah, that should be easy." And I was like, "Well, hold on a second, you don't actually say your name that often." And then Jack's all like, "Unless you're Dwayne Johnson." That wasn't Dwayne Johnson. It was. The Rock. Well, that's his to, name. Yeah, but you have to say The Rock. I wonder how many times he says Dwayne. Like, do you smell what Dwayne is cooking? Like, <laughs> that's not even funny. I mean, neither is The Rock bit. Batman! Engineered to handle the most demanding networks, ultimate power, uncompromised speed. Meet the Linksys WRT 1900 AC. And that's the kind of intro you get when you don't actually give me a script. You just write my name over and over again and then Batman, and that's my intro. They give me nothing to work with around here. Speaking of things to work with, this week is NCIX's rock solid sale event. The Canadian deal is an NCIX Watchdogs bundle. Get a Sennheiser PC 350 special edition gaming headset and a pre-order of Watchdogs on PC, Xbox One, or PS4 for $199.99. That's a savings of about $130. The American deal is an Asus GeForce GTX 772GB for $309.99. You're saving $58 bucks there, and you get a free game code for daylight. To the news! Oh, wait, that's not what Batman does. To the news, Robin? Or... Uh, following the Facebook Oculus Internet Apocalypse, a new virtual reality headset has popped up on the web called the True Player Gear. Apparently, it's going to have a 1080p OLED screen, 90 degree field of view, two 1080p front facing cameras, will work on the PC, PlayStation 3, and 4, and Xbox One, and 360, and will obviously be optimized for dating. That's why they call it the True Player. That's not, I made up the last one anyway. That's literally all the info they have on their site, although they're fairly active on Twitter and will apparently launch a Kickstarter in June. I just hope that they use a different video than the one they made for E3 2006. I also hope that two years from now, or when their Kickstarter launches, they don't just completely decide to screw up everything by selling out to like, I don't know, I'm gonna try to come up with something equivalently ridiculous, like General Motors, like, cause cars need virtual, I mean, can you imagine if people were sitting in cars wearing virtual reality headsets? I mean, okay, sure, self-driving cars, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't even see the truck coming. Other people can cause accidents, you know. Axiom Tech, an industrial computer part manufacturer, has announced the SHB 230 PICMG 1.3 half-size single board computer. That is a mouthful, just like these noodles. It is a computer squished onto a PCIe card. It has an LGA 1150 socket for Haswell and Celeron processors, two DDR3 sodium slots, DVI and LVDS ports, two SATA 3 ports. It's really hard to talk right now. I got like noodles in my teeth. There we go. Four USB 2.0 ports, although you can get two USB 3 ports apparently, and two gigabit ethernet ports. So you can like run a VM on this thing because yo dog, we heard you like computers. So we made this computer so you can put it in a computer while you computer and computes and surgeons at UPMC Presbyterian Hospital in Pittsburgh will put 10 gunshot victims they receive in a state of suspended animation as part of a test of a new surgical method. The process involves removing all of the patient's blood and replacing it with a saline solution that virtually stops cellular activity, allowing doctors to treat the wound with about a two hour time window before super, super bad things happen. They'll only be using the method on patients with an extremely low chance of survival. Huzzah for science. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Guys, Linus would love to stick around and chill with y'all, but Linus got more important business to attend to, okay? I'm guessing this is something to do with Batman or Dwayne Johnson or... No, wait, because we added the Dwayne Johnson part to the script, so it's not like Keys would have had any way of knowing that was going to be in there. Why am I referring to myself in the third person? Keys can tell the future. What? Think about it. Well, he is the Doc, yeah. which is a which is a that episode's out now, right? Yes, it is. So he's he's Doc Brown. 
And I'm Marty McFly. In every sense of the word. Eat that noodle.